like to um, ensure that the, that the public have a safe um, New Year's Eve celebration. The weather's going to be quite nice and it's a great time for people to celebrate at the end of 2023 and into 2024. But we implore you to do that safely. Police will be out at all of the events across the state. Um, there's been lots of planning um, going into these to try and make sure that the events are safe, as safe as possible. Police won't be tolerating any bad behaviour by the public that ruins other people's celebrations. So that we ask that everyone is responsible in relation to their alcohol consumption, that they look after their mates, and that they do the right things so that everybody can have a good time. There will be declared public precincts in operation for 12 hours from 6pm on New Year's Eve, both at Glenelg and in the Adelaide CBD. The police from the public transport safety section will be out on the, truck, uh, the transport network and at the railway sta Adelaide Railway Station and the other major uh, hubs. Police will be working with event coordinators to make sure that um, everything is safe and enjoyable for the public. Please don't drive if you're planning on going out and celebrating because then you might be tempted to drive home. My name's uh, Dylan Mildy, I'm the Acting Operations Manager of uh, Metropolitan West and uh, Special Operations. Um, we're expecting a uh, busy uh, New Year's um, this year and we want everyone to have uh, a fantastic time and not end up um, in the back um, of an ambulance. In anticipation of the uh, increased workload, we've been doing a lot of planning um, with all the events um, across the state. Um, to provide additional resources um, to help support um, these events and, and the extra um, workload. Uh, these include extra ambulances, extra intensive care paramedics, extended care paramedics, uh, the bicycle response unit and uh, our special operations um, team. We're well versed in um, dealing with um, such uh, large events uh, and we're look, looking forward to a, uh, a good year. I'd like to acknowledge um, all the staff uh, at SA Ambulance and other emergency services that have taken their time um, this year to give up their festive season um, to work to help protect the, uh, the public. Uh, especially our volunteers in regional areas um, that are giving up their time with um, family and friends. There's gonna be a lot of, oh, sorry. If you're deciding to um, drink um, this New Year's Eve, uh, do so um, responsibly. Um, stay well hydrated, and if you're out with a group of friends, um, look out for your mates. Um, if your family or friends do get in trouble as a result of drugs or alcohol, please make sure you look after them 
and call triple zero if needed. If you are planning um, on drinking in the evening, please make sure that you plan your way home. Don't drink drive. What we ask is that you either have a designated driver, take free public transport that is available, or rideshare is another option. If you are going out, please be responsible. Um, violence and aggression um, towards our paramedics and ambulance officers um, will not be tolerated. If you are going out um, on New Year's Eve, please be responsible. Um, violence and aggressive aggression towards um, our ambulance staff, including paramedics and ambulance officers, uh, will not be tolerated. Um, we're unable to look after your mates if we're trying to look after ourselves. So please be responsible and so please be responsible and look after um, your mates to, so we can look after you. Thank you. Um, um, if you want to just make yes. a few questions, so that increased presence in um, paramedics, will that be in across the, the state? So the um, increase in um, paramedics will be across um, the large events. So we've got um, extra paramedics um, in the uh, Glenelg area, in the CBD, um, and across the state. Um, it is also um, targeting general workload that comes um, from um, the, the night. Um, so it includes ambulance crews, intensive care paramedics, extended care paramedics, and our bicycle response unit. How many people are you expecting out here and in Glenelg on the music? I don't have the exact figures of that one, sorry. Right, no estimates. Yeah, what did you expect? I've got to be brief, I'm yeah. sorry. And, and those tend to, that attempted to maybe do the wrong thing, whether that be on the road or in event hot spots, can you sort of talk about the impact it has not only on them and their family, but also first responders? In terms of violence and aggression. Yeah, violence and aggression, you know, if something does go wrong in terms of a car accident, what impact does it have on you and your fellow paramedics as a first responder? Our paramedics um, don't like to attend um, the scene of uh, vehicle accidents or um, scenes where there's uh, violence um, and aggression. Um, those scenes are very confronting um, to our, our first responding um, staff um, and have an impact on uh, our paramedics and especially the, the public and those around them. So um, please be responsible uh, this New Year's Eve.
and we are looking after the welfare of our people um, who are exposed to that, just like everyone else in the community. And how many people are you expecting in the CBD and the Glenelg precincts? I think Glenelg are expecting around 50,000 or upwards of 50,000. And in the city they have quite a few events on, so there's the Big Bash um, at Adelaide Oval behind me, um, at Elder Park there's uh, festivities and they're expecting about 25,000 people there and there's also um, an event on, a music event on at Market Park that's expecting um, over 10,000 people. And you're confident you have the resources in place to deal with those huge crowds that they're expecting? Yes we are, so police have done a lot of planning as we do each year <coughs> to work out where we need to make sure that we have police available so that we can um, you know, have a, quite a low tolerance for bad behaviour on the night and I'm quite satisfied with the numbers of people who will be working to assist the public on this visit. How does that compare with previous years? Uh, obviously, past year with COVID and coming back to pre-COVID levels, do you expect? Uh, yes, so there's more venues and the, the public are out and about a bit more. Um, it's, there's still some unknowns about, you know, how people will uh, intend to spend their New Year's Eve celebrations. We just hope that they do it very responsibly I don't have the exact number for across the state, but I'm very satisfied with all of the planning that's gone in. Uh, we work very closely with event organisers right across the state, um, as well as our other emergency services personnel, and I'm very satisfied with the planning. And in terms of the roads, will you also be targeting regional areas as well as the, the metropolitan? Yes, there's a, a statewide operation in relation to stop truck driving and Operation Safe Holidays as well, and that will be occurring all throughout the state. We really ask if you are driving on country roads that you take breaks, that you don't um, get distracted by your phone or by your passengers, um, and you, that you certainly don't drink and drive. And especially with that huge road toll this year, I suppose, what's your message for South Australians who might be tempted to get behind the wheel? Uh, don't. Uh, make other plans. Don't take your car. If you're planning on drinking, just don't take your car because you may make a stupid decision um, in the wee hours of the morning. So make alternative arrangements, catch public transport, make other arrangements with friends or ride sharing and don't have your car available to use. Um, do you have any more details about the tragic shark attack we saw yesterday at the beach? Uh, nothing more than what's already reported. It's a very tragic um, incident. Um, so that's the third fatal attack we've seen yeah, this year. Um, you recall the year, you know, in the past it's been this bad for shark attack? Sorry, I can't and have you spoken to family of the victim or anything? Have you been in contact with them? Uh, so uh, police were um, at the scene, of course, and investigating um, the matter to prepare a report for the coroner, and they've spoken to the father who was present. And it's obviously an extremely tragic incident, and it's yeah, our fifth shark attack this year. Do you think South Australians should have concerns about going out in our waters? Do you, do you sort of heed the message to be safer in waters? Should they not swim out so far? Um, that's probably a matter for somebody else to answer. What I can say is if you are planning on um, drinking, then don't go into the water. So whether that's the waterways um, you know, up the river or uh, along our beaches, um, don't go into water where, when you've been drinking and don't go into water where you don't know what the depth is either. So you really need to be smart um, about looking after yourself and your friends. Just one, do you have a, a message for people who may intend to do the wrong thing or misbehave on New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve is just to be celebrated by everyone and it's a real shame when certain people behave badly and it impacts on everybody else. So for sure people should celebrate and have a good time but do so responsibly. Um, you know, be aware of your surroundings, uh, look after your mates and your family. Um, if you see anything suspicious, ring 131 or speak to a police officer if that's at an event or the event organisers. Just do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you.